what made you want to sign on to direct Jackie? Well, it was an invitation from uh, Darren Aronofsky. Mm -hmm. um, he saw a movie I did called The Club. He was the head of the festival, in, the head of the jury in Berlin. Mm -hmm. And the movie was there. And, and then, yes, then we met and he was like, why don't you do this? And I'm like, why me? Why a Chilean doing this? And he said that it could be interesting to have someone, you know, North American um, getting into the subject. And, and then I, I fell in love with the character and with the story. So, yeah, I, I had to do it. So what, what challenges did you face, I guess, culturally and with directing your first English language film? Uh, what kind of considerations did you have when directing this? Well, I guess the problem of cinema or the challenge of cinema it all comes down to the same. It doesn't matter really the language. Um, it's, you know, at some point it's just an actor that is alone, or an actress in this case, that is alone in front of the camera. And, and there's something very beautiful there. And, and then the language, yeah, but it's, uh, I guess, it's the, an emotional language, which is the really challenging one, not, not, the, one, not, the, not the one we use words. Mm -hmm. There's a way to do that, you can have help, you know, and, um, but yeah, I guess the, the challenge is really, is really how, to, how to put the movie into the audience bloodstream and, and how, to, how to understand her. Like, I'm not American, but I am, I'm, a, I'm a sitting citizen of the planet, and, and she was someone who did something that I do believe is it's, uh, it's very incredible and very beautiful. And were there any um, other films that you turned to for inspiration, maybe other portraits of historical figures? Of course, but I would, I would never say that, and I would never <laughs> tell you. I, I do, I do, I, I'm not much of a guy that likes biopics, mm -hmm. but I think Maurice Piala and, and people like Milos Forman did incredible movies about somebody, sure. but it's not exactly a biopic. Mm -hmm. I will thank you for speaking with Please, us. Please, come on, my pleasure. They, they, uh, they offered me the role of Jack Valenti, so I, it just basically kind of came right out of the blue, and I flew out to Paris, it was just right after the attacks happened there, so I was a little bit you know, nervous about that, but once I got there and I started working with Pablo and Natalie, uh, it was fantastic. Um, Pablo is a very, very serious, extraordinarily talented director. Um, working with him was like being in a laboratory uh, because the role was very sort of different than what I usually play. I mean, playing Jack Valenti is a uh, Houston-born um, politician, and all the characters in the film are these political animals in a you know struggle for for control over you know the, the country. Uh, everybody is very, very. Um, Everything was very low key. You know, Pablo would tell me that you know Pablo Lorraine is from a political family in, in Chile. His father, I think, was a very high-ranking politician, and so he knows a lot a lot about this world. And he said, you know, very powerful people, they don't ever have to raise their voice ever, you know, because they're very powerful. So, and things like that. You know, it was a very interesting, uh, counterintuitive experience working with him. And um, just the film played at Toronto, and so what excites you about showing it here in New York for the first time at the New York Film Festival? Oh, the New York Film Festival is an institution. I was here with uh, Blue Jasmine a few years ago. I'm very proud to be back again with another great film. And um, you know, I'm, I'm a proud New Yorker, so this is where I, uh, there's nowhere else I'd rather be. It's really hard to describe working with Pablo. It's like working with no one else, you know. Um, the director's job is really to set the tone, and you set the tone on set, and he sets such a specific tone, it's very difficult to describe. Um, in terms of preparing or something yeah. you're talking about? You know, I knew a lot about Bobby Kennedy. Um, I've always been a huge fan of Bobby Kennedy, um, especially toward the end of his life. And um, it was daunting. I mean, I didn't want to do it at first. I was scared to do it. And um, it's hard to play someone that you admire. But um, I think especially now, seeing the elections and everything, hearing someone who could take the ordinary and make it grand, somebody who could talk about big things instead of small things, I mean, in a way that was, you know, like almost, it was elevating. That's, that's a nice thing to try to do. So what do you think you discovered about Bobby's life in preparing for the role and... and well, I mean, I think this movie, to me, makes you think about what it must have actually felt like in those four days, you know, and to have a brother that, that died so violently and to have, you know, your 
to be with Jackie and see everything that she's going through and to try to figure out your place in the government and her and you know that must have been all very complicated and not much time for your own grief. And the film played in Toronto, but what excites you about bringing it to New York for the first time at the New York Film Festival? I love this festival. I really have always loved this festival. I remember the first time I was ever here with a movie was Boys Don't Cry. And um, I just, I don't know, I just, I don't, I've always loved it. Yeah, it's my favorite without a doubt. I think it's just, it's the familiarity of being in New York. Um, it's such an incredible institution that we're surrounded by, so. Thank you for speaking yeah. with us and have a nice night. Thanks. I'd like to start out by just asking um, like how you started on the project and when exactly did that begin? Um, well, it began with Noah's script. I read an amazing screenplay. Um, I wanted to get involved with it and it just took a long time to find the right director to make it happen. Eventually I saw Pablo's work and I was like, this is the guy. So it worked out really well. Um, when. What, what portrayal of Jackie Kennedy do you want to give? Like what, especially now, right. what do you want to leave audiences with? Well, I think it's important that you know, we have these mythological characters, and she's one of these iconic people, but it's important to show that they're human, and I think that's, that actually makes them more powerful and more interesting, and I think that was the, the attempt of the project. And lastly, the film, the film played in Toronto. Yeah. Uh, what, what excites you about showing this to New York audiences for well, the first I'm a, time? I'm a New Yorker and I love um, the film festival here at New York. I've been going since I was a little kid and so uh, it's exciting to be back. Darren Aronofsky, who was directed Black Swan, um, called me um, a while ago and said he had this script that he had that he just was going to produce. and. But they didn't really have the the right director yet, and so over the years he kept sort of talking to me about it, and then finally he he saw Pablo Lorraine's film, who, who ended up directing the film, and he was like, I think I found the right person. And when I met him, it, it immediately made me comfortable to to play such a an iconic character who, who people know so well, but. He really had such an interesting approach of trying to really get a, an idea of her humanity that was really compelling to me mm -hmm. to, to try and take on. Um, and this is Pablo's first English language film, so what were some of the challenges the two of you faced together in creating this uh, role? Well, I really didn't see any challenge for him. I mean, his his English is perfect. I mean, it's, it's really, um, it's not a, it wasn't a barrier in any way. Um, and film is film. I mean, if someone has a great vision, they can portray it in any language, um, which he proves, you know, being able to do both so handily. And the film played in Toronto, but what excites you about showing this to New York audiences for the first time here at the New York Film Festival? Well, I've always dreamed, I've never had a film in the New York Film Festival. <laughs> I feel like it's, I've always dreamed about getting to, to show a movie here. I feel like it's got such a great, um, such a uh, just a great um, sort of uh, elegance to it. All the films are always so interesting and of such a high caliber, and um, it's a real exciting thing to be able to show in your hometown too. Uh, well, thank you very much. Thank you.